Hey everybody, today I'm going to teach you a simple five-step system for training your employees quickly and effectively. My name is Ryan Gronfman and I'm an author, speaker, chef, and restaurateur, and I help restaurant owners make more money and have more freedom and joy in their lives. And I want to welcome you here today to this very special video training course on training your employees. I'm going to share with you, like I said earlier, the five-step system that I use for training my employees very quickly, for training my clients' employees very quickly, but most importantly, for training them very effectively. The five steps I'm gonna share with you are kind of funny sounding, but I did that on purpose because it'll help you remember them very quickly. The first one is why do. So why do, why are we doing it this way? The second step is how do. This is where we're gonna to explain to the staff member how we do the tasks that we're training them on. The third step is I do, meaning I or the trainer is now going to demonstrate exactly how to do this procedure. The fourth step is we do, meaning we're going to do this together. So that way, if questions come up, I'm going to be there to help you with it. And the last step in this training model is you do. This is maybe the most important step in the process because this is the opportunity now for you to step out of the process and allow the staff member to actually complete this task from start to finish and then show you the finished product. And this is your chance to say, yes, you did a fantastic job. You are now approved on how to do this task or no, go back and try this again or maybe try that or where did you go wrong here because this isn't the result that we're looking for. What this five-step model allows you to do is to take your employee, your staff member, your talent as I like to call it, in your restaurant, hotel, nightclub, bar, hospitality center, from a point of not being sure if they know how to do something all the way through to completion of not just understanding theory but also understanding exactly how to do it and proving demonstrating the skill to you so your staff member can no longer come back to you as i'm sure we've all heard the excuses of oh i didn't know we were supposed to do it that way or that's not how i was shown how to do this we hear these excuses all the time and well, they're kind of excuses. They're also kind of not sometimes because a lot of times we're not doing a great job of explaining to our new staff exactly how we want something done. And again, importantly, why we want it done. So I'm gonna break these down for you really quickly here, but like the why do. I think why is very important. And this is a step that's skipped a lot of times when we're training our new staff members or existing staff members on how to do something new. If they don't understand the theory, if they don't understand why you want it done this way instead of done that way, this is when they start to take shortcuts. This is when your staff members start to say, well, what if we try it that way? Or what if we do it that way? Because they're focused more on getting it done than the reasons why. So I always start with theory. I always start with a sit down conversation with the staff member. It could be very formal and long if it's an important task. If it's a quick task, it's just a, hey, let me just explain to you why we're gonna do it this way. Then I get into the how, and again, this is a verbal explanation. Some people learn better uh, auditorily, like hearing things or verbally. Some people learn better by doing, so we're gonna expose the, the staff member to both. So I, this is where I explain how. It's best if you have some pictures or documentation, depending on exactly what you're training, so that way you could explain to them how it's being done and show them some visual aids. Then we go into the I do. So if you're like actually cooking a recipe, you're gonna go in the kitchen and you're gonna show them. They're not gonna do anything, they're just gonna watch and pay attention and hopefully take notes. You're gonna actually demonstrate how to do this. If it's a conversation with a, a guest or like if you're training a host how to greet a guest, then you're gonna actually role play or they're just gonna stand and watch you actually greet guests. That's the I do part. Then it's the we do. So now you're gonna do it together. This is where like you see in a lot of chain restaurants where Someone will wear a name badge that says, you know, server in training where they're working with another server and they're part of the process. They're not doing it alone yet, but they're also not just watching. They're actively being a part of it. So that way you can give instant feedback and criticism and tell them the things are doing great, show them the things that they need some improvement on. And then that last step you do. So again, if this was a recipe, this is where they've been trained on all of this process up to this point. Now it's time for them to execute from start to finish all the way through, and then for them to bring you the finished plate and for you to look at the presentation and taste it and critique it. And if they're approved on all these, as you go through the process, I actually have a, um, a staff training planner that you can download here for free. 
as they go through this process, you check off each box. You check off the why do. That means that you've explained it to them and they acknowledge that they understand why you do it. You check off the how do. You've explained it to them and they acknowledge that they understand the how steps. The we do, the I do, and then most importantly, the you do is checked off. When all five of those boxes are checked off, both the trainer and the employee sign this specific document and any other videos or, or pictures or training guides that go along with it. And now your staff member in five simple steps is completely approved, documented in the file on exactly how you want that action step, that task, that procedure to be accomplished. And you will never run into the problems of an employee saying, I was never shown how to do that, or that's not how I was shown how to do it, or so-and-so does it this way, because everybody on your team will be on the exact same page. I know this sounds like a little bit of extra work up front, but the amount of time it's going to save you on the back end is going to be very well worth it. Again, please go ahead if you want that training guide planner where you could literally print this out and fill it out on your computer for every single thing that you train employees on in your restaurant, as many or as few as you want. Just go ahead and enter your first name and your best email address and we'll send that off to you instantly. My name is Ryan Gronfin. If you enjoyed this video, will you please do me a favor? Will you smash the like button below this video? Also, if you have any questions or comments or would like to share a massive success story with me, please go ahead and type in a comment below. I'll be sure to get back to those as quickly as possible. I do my best to answer those within 24 hours. Again, please ask questions there. It's the best way because then your questions can help influence other people and we can get into really great conversations. So go ahead, download the five-step training staff member planner, whatever it's called. Uh, smash the like button, leave your questions and comments below. And until the next video, go out there and crush it every single day. My name is Ryan Gronfin with The Restaurant Boss. Wishing you a lifetime of restaurant success. Have a wonderful day.